Well, it has to start with an actionable plan, right? So that's everything related to making sure the process was created in an inclusive way. The plan is something that is visually appealing, that incorporates storytelling, right? Like we have to make sure people are aware of the process and engaged in it. They have to then see the product of that and have it be something they're even remotely interested to take a look at, right? It can't be a 200 page dissertation about what you need to do to reduce emissions. And then like anything else, we have to make it easy for people. And to be honest, like I'm at the point and you know this, we are like so out of time, it's not even funny. We are not even remotely close of meeting any of the 2030 targets. And so at this point, I'm ready to tell folks one thing, one big thing, you just need to do one big thing. When it comes to the immediate reductions that we need in emissions between now and 2030, you've got to electrify your home, electrify your car, put solar on your house, reduce your energy use. It's got to come from the fossil fuel based area. That's where the emissions are right now. And that's our biggest opportunity, given that A, we already have all the solutions and B, here in the United States, we have an unprecedented amount of money that's going towards these things. I think it's our best opportunity to have a, any chance of hitting the 2030 targets. It's a great point. And people are making those decisions every day already. They're just not making the right ones. So how do we make sure that they have all the information that they need? How can we use the planning process or having actions that come out of it that are going to do things like create a coaching program that help people, all right, how do I assess my situation? How do I know how to make these decisions confidently and maybe break down some myths that they've come across in terms of people saying, well, this doesn't work here. Or this isn't going to work for you. Let them make that decision for their own, but with all the best information that we can create for them through the planning process. And I mean, I'm going to just throw this crazy idea out there for those communities that haven't done a climate action plan yet. Don't. Instead, why not focus in on developing targeted campaigns around these high impact opportunities? Because if that's what we know we need them to do, and if we know there's money out there for folks to do it, and all we need to do is some like myth busting and connecting folks with the resources that exist, I would much rather communities put 50, 100, $250,000 to that, that will yield outcomes immediately as opposed to, yes, you're doing a planning process. Great, you're bringing folks to the table. Great, you're having conversations. Great, you get a plan, you get a PDF at the end of all of this. That still didn't reduce emissions. Like we just don't have time for planning processes that are drawn out right now that aren't focused in on just getting to that outcome, those emissions reductions. So I say do that instead right now. <laughs>